welcome back guys i trust you are fine ufc 270 is tonight and the current flyweight champion brandon moreno is going up against davison figueredo now this is going to be a cracker you know it's going to be the co-main event for francis ngano and sirogan for the heavyweight title that's on the side you can watch my previous video on that one if you haven't yet seen it but let's talk about this fight it's going to be the third time these two are squaring off when they first squared off against each other davison was the champion at the time and it ended in a draw it was a split decision they squared off for the second time and this time around brandon moreno was able to defeat davison and even submit him he submitted the champion which was really impressive to to, to take the title from him fast forward they are meeting for a third time that is the rematch for the former champion and this match is going to be really really serious why am i saying this one they they fought it was a draw two they fought again moreno was able to pick up the win and take the title if you look at it from that angle it means that moreno has been on the up it means that he's been on the come up against the former champion because he drew with him in the first fight and then beat him in the second fight actually even submitted him so coming into the third fight the odds would seem to favor him but then you can't count out the former champion because he is also one dangerous guy in his own right someone would say he had a bad night against moreno and he himself alluded to it that he wasn't in the best form that he is known for and you could see in that fight because he seemed a bit g3 i think moreno had gotten in his head or the pressure had gotten to him prior to the fight and he showed when he entered the octagon now coming back again to contend in a rematch for his lost title against the guy who beat him and submitted him it it would need a lot of psychological strength to overcome that and also pursue the fight the way he's supposed to pursue it and I think Davison has that kind of psychological strength. And he has an ad added advantage now because Henry Cejudo will be in his corner as well. He said that himself. And apparently Cejudo and Moreno have history where, according to Davison, Moreno had betrayed Cejudo after Cejudo took him under his wing. I don't know the details of that though, but he makes reference to that in the build up to this third fight and now Saudo is in Davis's camp so it's expected that he may also help him get to know more about Moreno and maybe how to go around him well who knows but definitely this has culminated into a fight that I'm really looking forward to because I know it's going to be electrifying and I'm trying to pick a side here but <laughs> it's very difficult because both guys look to be on the same level irrespective of the fact that one of them has the championship belt around his waist and the other doesn't statistically this is how they stand moreno has 19 wins five defeats two draws davison has 20 wins two defeats and one draw so they are not that far apart from each other and irrespective the champion is the champion but i think moreno would be under pressure we saw um, uh, Rose Namayunes beat Zhang Weili for her title, which people, some people felt was a fluke because maybe she got lucky. And in the rematch, she beat her again convincingly this time at Zhang Weili's own game. So there is that reference point where a challenger beat the champion to take the belt and beat the champion again in the rematch. And that is something that is also possible in this fight between moreno and figueredo so there is also that possibility where davison could beat moreno and pick up his title that being said i'm going for davison yeah i think the taste for revenge could be the difference maker in this chance in this in this fight because he would have a lot to prove and i think that hunger that pain of defeat 
it's going to be something that will drive him really really hard but you know it's not enough to have that in the ufc ring and that alone will guarantee you success because you need other things you need skill you need strength you need tact you need strategy you need endurance you need a whole lot of things to endure and win so let's see how it goes i have taken everything to win let's see how it goes who do you pick let me know in the comment section how do you think it's going to go is he even going to go the full five rounds or you think there's going to be a knockout earlier on and by who would there be a submission again or this time around they are going to square off and brawl it out through to the end of the fight as always just true impressive i'm here i'll bring you the updates after the fight peace